Good everyone. My name is Graphics. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you see a question and we're told to solve the problem. And the question goes like this. It says, the drawing below shows three views of a machine component drawn in first angle projection. Draw the isometric view of the component making A the lowest point, right? Now we're told, first of all, it is in first angle projection. What it means is that this is the front elevation, yes, the plan and what the end view. Is that again? So we're told to draw in isometric. So the first thing you should do is to draw your isometric axis. All together. So you draw what? Your isometric axis. Take your set square and you draw the Y. Right? You draw the Z and you draw the X at an angle of what? 30 degrees because we are told we are is in isometric, we should convert it to isometric. Now what you need to understand, A is the lowest point, right? This is A here, meaning that these are our lowest points. So whatever we are doing, the figure, the lowest, the figure, this point here on the figure must be here, A. That way A will be, if we are taking our measurement. Now with the end view, is making us understand that what? The figure is facing this direction. Right, it's facing here, so this was it is facing making it lowest point. Are we here? So, why am I making lowest? Why, why am I saying it's facing here? Because if this point here is A, this point here too will be what A, right? And here also will be what A. So, the length of the end view from here to here is always the height of the plan. So, whatever dimension is from here to here, the same dimension will be applied to from here to here. And what is the height here? That is what. 40 plus 20 that is what 60 so the length here is what 60 so we're starting from the end view so i'm going to measure 60 from that point there from a i'll measure 60 from 0 to what to 6 is 60 you can see that then the length will be from here to here which will be around here and that is 80 so i'm going to measure the length from zero to what to 80 and that's it right and the entire height you get the height from the front view or the front elevation and that is 20 plus 20 plus 20 and that is what 60 so the height also is given to the word 60 so from zero here to what to 60 to 6 is 60. So, what I will do is I'm going to project this point upward. So, projecting this point upward, this is what I will be having. Let's turn your T square and move this up. Come here also, move this up. Then, what you did here at this point to draw this line, you did at this top point here at the height of 60. You get this, you come here also, you do the same thing at the height of 60 here, you do the same thing. So what you used to draw this, you move your set square and your t-square and you draw this. Then you turn it this way and you draw this to cover it up. So this has formed out your box. So from this box we want to cover out our image. Is that okay now? So I can actually zoom it up if I want to, but let me leave it in that way. So what you see is this, what I with the end view, right? And this is our lowest point, A. So it means that from here to here is from here to here, and that is what we've measured, which is 60. So I'm going to tick in that side there. I'll tick in it. You can see that? And thickness from here to here, like I told you earlier, is from here to here. You can see from here to here, same thing. So that's 20. So the thickness is 20. So I'll measure 20 from 0 to 2 is 20, right? So I can actually thicken it also. 
3220 then I'll just draw faint lines a little bit now similarly from here to here is the same thing as saying from here to here all together and that is 20 so I'm going to measure 20 as a thickness here from 0 to 2 is 20 and I'll take it up faint line first I'll take it up then I can easily take in from here to here since from here to here is taken so I'll take in here from here to here taking can see that for the height from here to here is from here to here and that is 20 so I'll measure another 20 again so I'll measure 20 from 0 to 2 is 20 right and I am going to close it up this way right and I'll close it up too because there's a line ruled here so I'll rule it up to the line close it up right and I'll also close it up too You can see now I'm not taking any of this place. Do you know why? Because this side you are seeing here from here to here is from here to here, right? But here is inclined, meaning that this is not straight, it is inclined. So it is not straight but what inclined. So I'll wait here and I'm going to do the same thing I did here at the other end. So let's replicate what I did here at the other end, right? So what I'll do is at the end here, I'll draw my line this way. Can you see that? Then I'll draw this this way. I'll be using faint line. You can see that. And I'll take it up. Then also this point from here to here is from here to here. I'll do the same thing here. Can you see that? So I can easily take in from here to here. So I take in. Then the rest will be faint line. I'll do here two faint line. Then I'll transfer this point from here to here with some from here to somewhere around here. So I'll transfer it to this point here. Can you see that? And I'll take in it from this point straight down to this point. Right? And I'll take it up a little bit, faint line. I'm going to transfer this point also from here, transfer the point to this point here. And now taking it to. That's what I'm doing. Now, and I'll close it up. I'll use faint line too. I'll tell you why I'm using faint line. So this is what we have here. So I have replicated the same thing at these two ends. The end, elev end elevation, looking from this side, this is what you're going to see. You know it is two, three dimensional. Now, and it's all in a cube or in a cube. So from here now, we are dealing with what? With the um, plan. Uh, this part of the plan will be at the end here. All together. So this side you're seeing in the plan, which my arrow is pointing, this side here will be on the same level as this side. So I'm going to start drawing my plan from here. So what do you notice? If I want to draw the plan from here to here, Will be from here, I'll measure 20, which is the same from here to here, right? So I'll just draw my line as the plan suggests. From here to here, I'll connect it. Remember the plan? Then what would I do? From here to here, it's 15, you can see that. So I'm going to measure 15 from here to here. Is that okay? So measure the 15 from 0 to 15 also here also from 0 to 15 can you see that so I'll just taking it as shown in the plan just taking the inner one I will make you understand something now taking from here to here and also taking from here to here you can see that from the plan now the end view is telling us that 
all this side you see at the plan here is at this level from here to here is in the level of from here to here this is here to here is found at this point here to here so what i'll do is i'll just connect those two points here because it's inclined right looking from the front elevation now looking at from here from here it's telling me that what this point to this point is inclined which is this point to this point so it's inclined looking at from here it's telling us that the front elevation here is inclined so i'll just join from here to here and i'll join from here to here right and i also join from here to here and also join from here to here right and i also join from this point to this point right then i'll just join here because there's a line at the front elevation here so let's connect these two together and also connect these two together they are the same level right and what else again then from here to here you can see that then what else do we have so this is what we have here this is what we are going to have this is transforming the and, and the orthogonal projection in first angle projection into isometric the rest you see in there is just hidden like this. i want to just show that okay i know exactly what i'm doing which is not necessary you start drawing your hidden line this line here will be hidden but you cannot see this figure here right you cannot see these figures here you cannot see here you cannot see all these figures here it's not necessary i'm just putting it there for you for this better understanding all right and this one here hidden line you can see that all those things are what a hidden line even here also the line here also will be what hidden that's what we have here so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also don't forget to share the video thanks for watching